What's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarender, and before going in, my capture card has issues, and uh, due to that I decided to do a webcam recording, uh, my USB isn't working, and uh, I'll need to figure that out as time went on, and I'm gonna do an update about that, in case I have to send it for repairs, and if so, then I'm gonna go back to, sadly, a month of webcam upload, sadly, but, uh, you know, I'll figure it out and like I said, I'll get more into it in another video. Um, but yeah, I'm going against Gearheart and uh, this was a very interesting match. Like I said in my previous video, I was fearing his Kyurem being Scarred, I was fearing Greninja, I was fearing Celebi, I was fearing Vaporeon, I was fearing Scizor and I was so glad I didn't have Heatran. He's used Star after instead, but other than that, I think I got it down, like I think I got the majority down. Um, with that said, um, it's still a bulky team, and obviously my team is pretty darn bulky too, with Chansey, Keldeo, Stealthlet, and Powered on Scullabeat, and Thunderous. And uh, due to him having Greninja, I knew that he probably has an opportunity here to uh, set something up very early on. I was expecting his Greninja to be Scarf, so I didn't want to start off with my Scarf Keldeo. I basically decided to start off with my Chansey and go for a T-Wave, because he didn't go for either Crocodile or Ampharo, so I could T-Wave something and... Uh, pretty much nerfing early on and uh, basically trying to find a footing through that so uh, yeah I think that will be all like that's really all my all my previous analysis and we'll see what happens after that so with all this my guys let's go so yeah I was obviously really light here right here in the beginning I'm gonna start with the blob which of course is the um, just monster is Chansey I like I said before I really don't use Chansey but this was one of those games where Chansey is a good fail-safe if things aren't working. It can't do damage, this is not the point of it. The point is to take a hit, destroy something, you know, nerf it, and then come back. So anyway, the Legion of Boom! The Scissor, the Mega Scissor, my Mega Scissor to be honest. This one, this is one I dropped in the league because I wanted Mega Garchomp instead. And I was fearing this guy because Mega Scissor, while I can't use it obviously well, um, I know people that do, obviously, and I only had one response here, and that was to send him, send in the Powdown or Bugra, and hope for something to happen, like, I can't do damage to this thing, uh, I can't really hurt it, and uh, the only thing I can do is Roar, Stealth Rock, sure, I can go for an EQ, yes, but um, that is, it's not gonna do real damage, so anyway, he's gonna go to his Aquaria, Aquaria, no. <laughs> Uh, basically, I set up my rocks. Now, I didn't think he would go for as aggressive play as Scald. Um, I was really feeling that he's probably gonna see me switching out to the Chansey. And uh, I said to myself, you know what? Just go for Roar. Just do it. And he's gonna go for Toxic. Like I said, I did expect something like that. Uh, because that is really the right play to do. And uh, had he scold me, you know, jokes on me really. But you know, this is the second time I roar something out and shit just hits the fan. That is... Really? Greninja is gonna come in? I was like, no! <laughs> Every other combination would be fine, but no! Greninja! So right, I am obviously forced to switch out and uh, I'm not feeling as comfortable. Like, I did one of those hasty switches before and I can't stay in again. And um, he's actually going for the safe play. I was actually expecting him to go for an Hydro Pump because of my ballsy move previously so uh, but no he's gonna go for u-turn i mean that's fine and legion of boom is gonna come back in and i thought this was strange or rather since he's paralyzed he's not really that intimidating so i was thinking he maybe want to set up sword stances and uh, i could deal with that i guess but i'm basically going for soft boil because i want to check out what it's gonna go for and then switch out but it's gonna go for agility and that tells me one thing since he's paralyzed, um, he's not getting any real use of his agility. So all that hit me was, he got a Batom Pass. He got a Batom Pass on this set. Uh, that, that There is no way he could play this thing differently. And I decided to go into my power down. He's going to go for another agility. And I, was, and I was sure of it. And I just needed to roar. I mean, sure, I could have gone for an EQ. But I knew exactly what he was going to go to. Cure him. He was the main thing here. If he gets rid of the speed issues, then I have all kinds of issues. So he's gonna go through Turbine, which is the monster that is curing. 
Destruction. And I basically went for a roar. Yeah, that's it. Like, ma major, major crisis avoided. And um, we're back to square one. And Aquaria is gonna come in again. And I was like, dude, really? Third time. Weakness issues again. Really? Really? I should just stop roaring. What the fuck? <laughs> this is so bad too. I mean, like I said, I have other matchups that would help me here. Greninja nor Vaporid <laughs> is one of those. So anyway, gonna switch out to Keldeo. Well, he goes for Wish. And uh, that's fine. That is really fine. I was expecting him to be a potential set with Wish or Heal Bell. Uh, I was really fear fearing the Heal Bell. But anyway, just gonna go for Sacred Sword. Um, making sure he can switch into his Greninja and basically wanna see how much damage I do. And that's 50%. And that also tells me that he's probably has some investment in special defense. And that also means that return if will kill him if Stalkun is going up against him one on one. Uh, because with no investment or with not max defenses, there's a chance it can live a uh, return actually. So anyway, uh, I was expecting him here to switch out because, like I said, the Sacred Sword is not doing a whole lot. And I was thinking that Celebi is very likely to come in. Well, that did not happen. He went for Protect. And I'm going to go for T-Bolt here. And uh, now he brings the Celebi. Like I said in my previous video, I was expecting that this could be a chance for me to actually get momentum. So Thunderbolt obviously is not doing a whole lot. But Hidden Power Flying... Somewhere around 40%. That's good. That's that's really good damage. And he's gonna go for a future side. And uh, I thought this was a bit weird, but at the same time, that means I have to keep tracks on my turns before the future sides hit, because future sides actually could take out the Scolipede. So anyway, he's gonna go through Legion of Boom. I'm just gonna keep going. And uh, yeah, let's just face it. Uh, Hidden Power Flying does a good chunk of damage here too, and can take him out, but... I know the future side is incoming, and uh, I need to go for Volt Switch. I don't want to take unnecessary damage on the Thunderers, I just I don't. And um, yeah, Volt Switch is gonna be just fine here. And sadly though, I mean that means the Celebi of course lives, but at the same time, I do get the chance to bring in the Blob and take this future side really well. And uh, I was fearing here that, you know, we are in a situation where he could go for Synthesis and my Seismic Toss would not be able to kill him. Luckily he goes for Gearing and luckily he doesn't get that much HP. I mean he gets a lot of HP but hardly enough and this Seismic Toss is actually just about enough to take him out. And yeah that was lucky. Obviously he had to go for like I said for Synthesis. Things might have been a bit different. So anyway this thing is gonna coin the Rift Destructor and um yeah, I mean, there is not a, like, when this thing comes in, it basically is begging something to die. So, while I was doing great until this point, uh, I won't deny the fact that, you know, shit just hits the fan yet again, and a double edge is almost enough to take kill of, or take care of the Powdown. And, um, basically I decided that I have to sack a Powdown and bring Stoutland, and hope I can do, like, a last game sweep here. I knew that, like I said before, that Shadow Sneak on Greninja would screw things over for me, but that is the only chance he got right now. He has to have Shadow Sneak or he's lost. Uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, fourth, he's gonna come in. And he's actually gonna switch out to his Scissor, and I was fearing that Scissor might be able to take one hit, but since it's paralyzed, he can't go for a knockoff, or he can, but he will die in the process. And like I said here, he will actually barely live this return. So he's forced to go for a bullet punch. And he does actually break through the paralysis. And it does fair damage. I mean, it's obviously not fully invested in attack. But yeah, it does still fair damage. So there's this right away. Stoutland dealing with the Megas. Yet again, actually. And it's gonna bring Aquaria. And like I said previously, due to him being not fully invested, there's just gonna be a boom! Get out, dog! <laughs> My porn is gone. Um, so yeah, I was really fearing here that you know I probably won, but the green is gonna show up, and uh, what do you know, guys? He had Shadow Sneak. I'm very surprised he didn't do this before. Obviously, that would have helped, saved him a bit of trouble, and uh, I have no intention of switching out. Like, 
I was really hoping he was feeling gutsy, go for a U-turn, but he's actually going for an Ice Beam, you know, that's fine. I really don't like myself being locked here because obviously I can't do much here. I basically have to accept my faith and that is that the stuff is going to fall. I think that's the first time, time he fell. So it's not too bad actually, it's not too bad. Mm. Drinking coffee while recording. So anyway, the sandstorm will subside. I decided to switch out just to preserve the points basically. I'm gonna go into the blob. But sadly, it went for you, turn. Yeah, you should just have gone into freaking Scalipede. Chris, dude, no! Why did you do this? <laughs> so, of course, he's gonna bring his star after again. And really, now, I was thinking that I need Chansey more than Southland. Uh, Chansey can deal with Greninja if I screw something up. That was the only thing I had in mind in case. His Curem actually was, um, oh, how do you say? In case Curem is still scuffed. I know it sounds weird that I still thought about that even past agility, but that was the only thing I had on my mind that I need something for that. I can't risk it. So I gotta go into Beach on Max and go for Protect, getting my speed boost, making sure that if this thing is scarfed, that I actually can outspeed. And um, yeah. I'm just gonna say it, I think this is the game. There is no coming back from this. I do have the main stabs, like I said in my video before this battle, I knew that Scolipede is one of those, really like my last ace in my deck, if anything, you know, if anything isn't working, Scolipede can come in and just finish it off, and uh, I know I couldn't come in on the, the faster Pokemon, I needed a speed boost, so that's why I have the Protect Life or Combination, and I have the superpower only for Curem. Only for this guy and whack. That's cure my way. Is actually isn't the Oko uh, is closer to like 70%. So I needed like at least one round of stealth rocks in best case scenarios too. So uh, that was obviously real luck of me because I wouldn't have killed him from that range sadly. But anyway, his last Pokemon is the Greninja, and there is not a whole lot it can do against me. He's gonna go for Shadow Sneak, getting some last effort damage, hoping that I go for a superpower. I, I believe. You know, he's fine either way, like, there is not a whole lot he can do. And it's actually just, you know, around 50%. So, yeah, i say this game was actually pretty darn close. His Greninja was all over the place. This thing really, really screwed me over. And um, I was glad to get some footing out of that, but obviously my opponent played a very, very nice and good game. He just... I, I probably had a better matchup when he didn't bring the Crocodile or the Ampharos. Like, I was free to go for a few moves that I wasn't intentionally hoping I would do. And also, not bringing Heatran saved me a lot of trouble this match. So, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have actually a whole lot of afterthoughts because, well, let's just, let's just face it, I had a good time this time around. I was preparing for other Pokemons, and I think my opponent had somewhat of the same situation, and it turned down to that we didn't really have plans for one another, really, but I think I had better matchup as basically through and through this match and it came down to that that I could play much safer than my opponent could and uh, it really sucks for him because I really think he has a lot of good Pokemon and he's a generally good player it's just one of those times where it just wasn't right um, it just it didn't like things didn't really connect the way it was supposed to do for him and obviously I could play really safe there at the end uh, so that's my only like real ending thoughts. I think my opponent plays a good game, but I think I just have too much momentum naturally for him to actually turn this one around. And yeah, that will be all really. I hope you guys enjoy this content anyway, even with this quality. And like I said, I'll do an update later on here uh, where you know what will happen and you know what what to expect. Uh, sadly, uh, I hope we have a quick fix on this, but I don't think so this time around. Sadly, and uh, yeah. I'm still gonna do the uploads, but it's gonna be in this quality. We're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have different. I mean, I'm gonna ask people to record for me too, so hopefully we can get a good mixture of everything. So anyway, I wanna thank everybody for watching, of course. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video, and remember, sky's limit. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Till then, take care. Bye.